Hello, everyone, and welcome to Late Night by Daylight, the show's name that doesn't make sense, even if you think about it. I am Brandy, Mr. Headache, and I used to be an inspiring xenomorph main until the fog took me. And as always, I'm joined by my lovely, lovely host. Oh, host. I am the host. You're, you're, you're secondary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Levi, I, I don't the yeah, that thing <laughs> is... No, it's the best it's we okay. got. I... Yeah, hey, I got napkins. I'm good. That's that's all I really need. It's strange that the alternative is the is the dinky this table of chairs. I think you kind of won in a weird sort of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you are not aware of the premise of Late Night by Daylight, we used to be aspiring Dead by Daylight streamers until the entity decided to put an end to that. So now we are forced into the confines of Greenville's theater, where we must run a dinky late night talk show to farm the emotions of not only our guests, but you, the viewing audience. We thank you ahead of time for your participation. Plenty of times, iconic Dead by Daylight personalities go awry and just need to get something off their chest. A perk rubbing you the wrong way? Late Night by Daylight. Recent update got you down? You gotta let somebody else know? Late Night by Daylight. Just want to complain for absolutely no reason at all? You know what comes next. Late Night by Daylight. Late Night by Daylight. We'll get that eventually. It's okay. <laughs> I like that we missed the mark on that somehow each time. Yeah. Uh... So are you ready for the show, Levi Guest Anonymous? Oh yeah, I mean we got a guess this time. I mean we we're already doing so much better than last time. I'm not in a hot seat. I I'm good. I'm ready to go. Yeah, we've had a a lot going on in Dead by Daylight since our last episode. Uh, the Halloween event has come into the game, so that's pretty wild. I know people have a lot of uh, positive and negative takes about that. What has been your experience? Because I know you've been kind of like shying away from it, which is interesting. Yeah, uh, I think it's fun. I think. Um the the uh i think it's the, the smoke bombs are really interesting and fun i think they're a lot of fun i've heard some people complain about sensory overload overload that is which true. i totally get um i think the skeletons that the killers can shoot out are insanely strong with certain killers i mean all killers really but like Cenobite can take great control of them um and pretty much do guaranteed two taps which is kind of cool and interesting uh probably feel bad in some scenarios but i think my favorite thing from it has been the verticality it looks like they took the little uh wooden plank um walkways from like that unreleased swamp map that we had leaked a while ago i didn't even think um, of yeah i'm pretty sure that's exactly where they got them from um i could be wrong uh somebody correct me somewhere um but it's, yeah it's, I, I think it's youtube levi they will correct you even if you're right that's right that's right yeah it's, please thank you for doing your job uh, <laughs> um but i think it's cool we're getting more verticality uh, which is interesting that we've we're, this is a behavior that added invisible walls so we couldn't fly off roofs uh, roofs and things like that so it's interesting to see them now adding verticality uh so i'm kind of excited to see where that goes and uh what future maps hold in store for us because this is a, a new level of gameplay and the wooden planks i mean there's so many more mind games uh killers need to be a lot more careful about where they're stepping i just think they're a lot of fun so if uh oddly enough i think the maps uh the integration of this additional map has been my favorite part i think one of my favorite things that i heard fairly recently that i thought was actually like kind of funny was that um so like some people are having very negative experiences on the uh survivor side because of the insta down thing with like the go straight into an, an, an attack straight afterwards it's like almost like an exposed down it's so quick and yeah, then, yeah and then killers are like bro i can't even go into the into the uh <laughs> into the the void otherwise i just lose the game and somebody and somebody has said very intelligently it's like is that not balanced <laughs> is, that not, is that not balanced if like both sides are like mm, i hate that part <laughs> it is in a sense equal if you really think about it yeah yeah great great reward for uh great cost for sure it's i mean it seems like people are still playing it it looks like uh at least the times i'm playing the normal queue is a little slow and i i, I feel like that's just because of uh the event um it's not normally like that so there must be people still playing it so it must be uh doing something right usually what happens is there will be like you know the event home will be out and people will grind that and then quit but it seems like people are continuing to play it which is a pleasant yeah, change yeah, yeah it is kind of nice all right so we do have a guest this time you know we didn't mess up that for once you know the fear of death kind of does help with that doesn't it? great motivator yeah yeah strange yeah, the whole void thing that we just talked about, we will go there eventually if we don't continue to do a good job here. So I appreciate you so much for all your love and support in the first episode because uh, otherwise we go kaput. Oh, yeah. Kaput. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not looking forward to that verticality 
dealing with it myself. Uh, I have a fear of heights, so it, the, the longer we don't have to go there, uh, the better for me, honestly. All right, well, we do have other segments to get to tonight, so the show must go on, but we're going to bring back a new fan favorite who was much beloved from our last episode, Word of the Day with Eric the Crow. So over to you, Eric. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Word of the Day with Eric the Crow. You know, the audience really liked your last appearance on the show. Do you have anything to say to that, bud? Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, uh, that was not nice. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, he, um, he said that he's really appreciative of your support so far, and he hopes he can continue to entertain you. Yeah, that's what he said. Anyways, I believe you do have the word of the day for us, yes? Ah, that's a good one. Camping, another controversial one. What does camping mean, Eric? Camping is the action of giving up macro pressure in order to stay in one place to pressure one thing, like the hook survivor, slug survivor, generator, etc. Very well put. Now, Eric, I've had a hard time with this one in particular, because a lot of the time, a survivor will be right next to the hook survivor. Is this still camping? No? Wow. I could have sort of been yelled at for that before. Hmm. Okay, okay. Another question. I've heard that in the end game where all the generators are done, I can still camp. Is that true? Oh, I see. Since there's no other objectives, I'm focusing on the only thing I can. Hmm. I wonder why people say differently. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean this is corny? This is good. Hey, get back here. I... Well, I guess that's the end of this episode's word of the day. Back to the show. All right, with that out of the way, it's finally time to introduce our guests for this evening, since we, you know, actually have one this week. <laughs> they are one of, if not the most well-known trickster main in the Dead by Daylight community, all around an amazing Twitch streamer, that being Revium. Hello, my name's Revium. <laughs> Hi, you call me Rev. Um... I've been a trickster main for pretty much ever since he came out. I've been playing him, uh, well, I've been playing the game since, uh, 2018 around pig release, um, like 7.2 K hours at the moment. Uh, I play a lot of this game, both survivor and killer. Um, but most of my playtime has been on trickster. I've also at times played like Huntress and spirit and a bunch of other killers as my mains for like short periods of time. Whenever I was like, you know, needing to take like a burnout break from trickster, but for the most part, I'm currently the number one NA playtime on Trickster. Um, at like, I think it's like 80 something thousand knife injures or something. I don't remember what the number is right now, but I've played so much Trickster. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And what pronouns do you go by there, Rivium? Oh, he they. he they, he they. I, I, I go by either one. Same days. And is there anything, if anything, you would like to promote today on the show? Uh, I stream on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Revium. Uh, I don't really make other content. I make shorts on YouTube every so often, but I don't really promote those. So you can get those by my Twitch stream if you want. But uh, for the most part, it's just streaming. Excellent. So if you're unfamiliar with the format, we like to offer this space as a place to vent about anything that's been on your mind in the fog, whether that be in the game, the community. Obviously, if other creators come into the discussion, discuss them anonymously if it's going to be any sort of like criticism or negative. Um, but other than that, we're free to go. So what's on your mind? You've opened the floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> For the last, like... <laughs> Well, what, 11, 12 months at this point? I mean, it's been since oh, November. God. Um, I'm so glad they're addressing this, but Trickster for the longest time has felt like not himself. Like, there's been this weird thing where like once November hit and they reworked him, everyone was like, oh my God, it's a buff, it's a buff, it's a buff. And it was like, I was like, guys, it's not a buff. It's it's like really, really, really bad. Uh, the character doesn't even feel like the same character anymore. He's just a different character. It's been a while. It's been a wild year. Um, I'm really glad that they are addressing it at this point. Um, but 
it's been rough like not even just like trying to get people in general to listen but trying to get like the devs in general to listen is it's been a task and i'm just glad that i can finally uh take a time some time to rest because there's been so much going into it like i've been streaming for like 10 hours a day for the last year straight <laughs> very strong <laughs> trying, like wild but <laughs> So did um, you know that the changes were bad like immediately, like when they announced them, or did it take some time to kind of realize? So all the trickster mains did the math when it hit. Um, mm -hmm. And mathematic-wise, it is a nerf, but we were kind of coping a little bit, trying to <laughs> see, just making <laughs> sure that the movement speed actually didn't matter or the extra pressure from the M1 actually didn't matter. And it turned out that it didn't very much. Um, all of the benefits from the rework kind of manifested in this form of like, you only get the advantages of them if you're like slugging because you get like way more ammo. You get way more um, ammo ability to like save ammo because you can M1 instead of uh, using your knives if, you, if they mess up against you. Um, and that's pretty much it like the map mobility is kind of negligible because it's like a two second difference to cross like a big map um right and just in general he just he lost a lot of feeling he got like a ton of bugs injected into his kit um <laughs> here we go uh <laughs> so if you lift your knife when they when when a survivor pallet stuns you it'll permanently hold the knife up until you lift your knife again and it appears on survivor's perspective like this too so you can run at them as if your like knives are out and then m1 them even though your bat isn't even out and your animation is still with your assassin's creed like <laughs> knives at your hip kind of thing that's very nemesis um, coded yeah yeah just punch them it, it's great and then also if you get stunned while you're popping main event it will make the vignette pink and then it will make your audio permanently muffled into the main event again. Ooh. Um, Ooh. That sounds horrible. Yeah. That one doesn't happen very often, thankfully, because usually when you're popping main event, you're not next to a pallet, but it happens like once every like 10 games or something if you're like really pressuring pallets with main event. Um, another one is uh, your arms will desync. So if you're throwing for a long period of time, your arms will start throwing out of the wrong arm, even though they're coming out of the arm that isn't playing the animation. So visually with flicks, you want to flick with the arm and you use right. the arm as a guideline for that. But if it's flicking out of the wrong arm, you physically are flicking with the wrong side and you could just mess up your shot completely. Um, not, not even just that. It feels like it feels like you're watching somebody talk, but all of their words are coming out after they've made the lip movements for them. It's like missynced, right? Yeah, it's very missynced and it's just like it just feels uncanny and weird. Uh that gets even worse than the Memento Blades, the new add-on that they added that is it's it busted. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Um what's another one? Uh so he has a bunch of, <laughs> Yeah, he has a bunch of audio lines that are missing. Uh usually when you reach a high combo, the combo would um, continue until you didn't hit a survivor for a few seconds, like four seconds. But now it's if you miss at all, the combo ends. And if you hit an S tier combo, which was required for voice lines, the combo also ends. So all of the voice lines that would happen when you were throwing while in an S tier combo are like the huh, 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 like him is just like going like, you know, showrunner kind of like the like, uh, the like grunts and stuff that he did when he was throwing are all gone, uh, unfortunately. I have a lot of clips of like the old ones, but that's sad, um, actually. Yeah. Uh, and his reload animation is desynced. He's not supposed to. He's supposed to close the knives before he leaves the locker with them, but he just fans them open and then doesn't finish the animation and steps out of locker before that even finishes. Um, he. They recently fixed his wink. In his loading yep. in his lobby, which that that wasn't yeah, fixed for that, yeah. forever. Yeah. Um he 
used to have a bunch of voice lines like when he reloaded and stuff that were on like one percent volume so they played the the closed captions of him saying it but they never actually it, it never actually said it um he had the same thing happen with stun animations as well uh his pickup animation was actually desynced um where if you picked up it was a little bit delayed um and it has like a had like jagged camera movements uh kicking a generator also was desynced once they uh you guys remember the fix that they did for generator kicks with killers yeah. like a few months ago yeah to help newer killers so they didn't accidentally think they kicked it but didn't yeah when that happened trickster would get stuck in windows with his vault um and he would just get like jammed in the window and then you'd see this like jittery like uh vibrating screen thing when you were dropping um and then also his gen kick animation was desynced where it would it would just like get like stuck like animation wise like it would complete the whole thing but he wouldn't finish hitting the bat on the generator because his was already synced up but they applied the fix to every killer retro like retroactively instead of just the ones that needed it um god there's like a billion other things um how did it feel to have your character be in such a not only a balanced state to be rough but also that mechanical state like what were your feelings in those months that they were essentially ruined um so i had just come back to the game from a nine month break because i was burnt out the nine months prior um this was during like mft and skull merchant era yeah but arriving on the trickster rework um i at this time had like a rush of like excitement because i was looking forward to this um that's one of the main reasons i came back was like oh my gosh they're reworking my character what i need to be here for this um and it just felt horrible like like the community was kind of pitching it as a buff and i was watching content creators like do like video coverage of this stuff using like bots as like examples and I it was so like it it's so tough to watch like something that you're like really really experienced in and get like misinterpreted by the whole community and get mistreated um because like nobody really plays this character so it's like it feels like if he feels special to me and he doesn't seem to feel special for a lot of people and that's fine i don't i don't think that, that that's a mandatory thing but um he felt like destroyed his whole like thematic like previously if you saw a trickster you had to be aware of where he was and what his attention was at because if you didn't, you could be exploded and rapid fired both your health, star health states away. Um, and that was, it was really, really sad to see that gone because he can still do something like that, but it's very, very dependent on someone messing up to the extent of losing a health state and then messing up again because they already got the post hit movement speed. So main event, was kind of just like a downgrade to the old base kit even mathematically wise um yeah. it kills you in like 0.2 seconds longer than old base kit throwing so it's like like what is the point of making main event happen more often it's just if it's just worse than our old base kit throwing that was better so it was just like it was just like what and the most effective playstyle was like the most boring thing ever. Like, and I still do it just to prove a point. Like the four slug thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, to be tr completely honest, like it breaks my heart knowing that that's his, one of his best strategies. Like it might not be his best, best, you know, I'm not really gonna, I, I've had some uh, debates with some fellow Trickster players on it, but in general, it's the easiest way to play him. And it's the most effective for the easiest way. And resistance, you mean? Yeah, exactly. But I, it's frustrating. 
I think it's really rough the to, to go through watching your character just be in such a place that like you love them a lot, but you don't really feel gravitated towards giving them attention because of the state of their end. And I do know that there is another killer that just went through a very, very similar situation, which I know you in particular had mentioned specifically that you wanted to talk about. <laughs> and we will get to that after this commercial break. A lot of school merchant mains probably feel very similarly right now. So what would your advice be to get through this really rough period they may be experiencing? Um, honestly, I wish that us as the trickster community were more vocal earlier. Um, it took, we, we didn't have a lot of like traction when the rework first hit. So a lot of it was like kind of building up our um, like media presence. I'd say right. but I think the biggest thing is just like let the devs know like and don't be quiet on it like there's gonna be so many people that want you to be quiet on it because they have a vested interest in playing against a character that they enjoy over the character that you enjoy which I don't think that should be how that works every character should be able to exist in the game uh, even if some people don't like it um, and I think that there's a lot of like workarounds like the current version could be fixed in a way that like satisfies both but i'm i think that if if we had spoken sooner i think we would have gotten changes sooner but um yeah letting the devs know and not staying quiet on it is going to get their attention i think because that's historically what's happened with a lot of things like night trickster um what have you. changes that almost blew them up as a character to be one of the strongest <laughs> in the game <laughs> but yeah the twins changes like uh snap feed sorry excuse me snap feedback is one of the biggest things that behavior seems to react to right now and whether that's for the better or the worse that's to be seen but it ended up i believe getting them to notice trickster and i think skull merchant is kind of a similar thing i think pixel is doing a very very good job at being a um a force for this character but i couldn't do it alone pixel can't do it alone mm -hmm. there needs to be like if you care about the character, you need to make your voice heard. That that is that is the number one thing is speak up for your character. Don't just expect other people to do it for you. You have to be the voice for your character because if you don't do it, there might not be someone else who does or has enough, you know, voice to do it. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's my advice is just be vocal speak for what you believe and i mean that goes for anything not just like reworks and stuff i think this is an excellent segue because in terms of tangibility since a lot of people are currently in this situation that main school merchant uh can you break down what that tangibly is in terms of like hashtag reverse trickster if they're going to do a hashtag revert school merchant like what are you say be vocal do this what does that actually look like in practice so they can carry that out if they would wish to Make posts on the Twitter, the Twitter post for behavior. Um, post on the forums, post on the Reddit. Uh, I have information that the primary ways that behavior looks at feedback is the Reddit and their own forum forums. Uh, Twitter isn't really something that they focus on as much, as far as I'm aware. I might be misinformed on that, but I'm I pretty mean, sure that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but. Post on the Reddit, post on the forums, post on Twitter if it's your primary means of media, but just like post in their like 
like post in their post in their uh in their things because they do take they do look at those um they might they're never going to say uh what they see because that's that's always been how behavior works is even if you do post and they don't respond to it they they do see it they see a lot more than you might think but in general it's like magnitude the amount of voices saying something is very important if it's just one guy spamming like like something that they want they're not going to listen to that but if it's like a voice if, it, if it's a group of people that are like hey guy, hey we've been we've been our characters kind of been like you know mistreated can we get some help for this character it doesn't even necessarily need to be a hashtag but i would say having a call to action what needs to be done uh is important um having something that people can state without actually knowing like all of the details but knowing they want the character back is important um like when zozo i and uh nj and vasek were all like trying to uh get people heard on or get get ourselves heard on a lot of this um a lot of it was posting the 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 nerfs page because the nerfs page is ridiculous like for trickster it was like an eight it was like eight to twelve nerfs and only two buffs and most of those nerfs went unaccounted for so zozo went and found a lot of the nerfs put them on the wiki and took a screenshot of all of it and we, we used that as a um as a visual because a lot of people even if they don't like the character or don't know the character they still like the people behind it you know so they want those people happy so use a visual like give people a visual to help with you know spreading awareness because sometimes these characters go unnoticed and behavior doesn't want these characters to die they have a vested interest in them staying alive so they're going to listen at some point so just don't give up on that I think a very uh, interesting question that I wanted to ask you in particular is that Revert Trickster, uh, you know, I have been in your streams for a long time and now mod for your streams. Like, you, this has been your thing. This has been your deal for a really, really long time. But now it's on the horizon. It's coming. So what comes next for you? Because in a sense, once that update drops, the battle is won, so to speak, right? What What is on the horizon for you? Um... Honestly, probably just going to keep being a killer main. I'm going to keep being a voice for Trickster, regardless of, like, whether he's, like, in a horrific spot or not. Uh, once that revert hits, I am going to just be spamming the hell out of that character. I'm going to try to win streak on him. <laughs> I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to show people how to play him more, because... A lot of the complex things kind of fell through with the rework. Um, and I'm going to try to make a guide. I don't think that hey. I'm very good at doing any of that stuff, but I'm going <laughs> to try because I said that I would if it gets reverted, and here we are. <laughs> that's excellent. That's that's a lot to look forward to as well. Yeah, very because very exciting. People, a lot of people see streamers and like character specialists or YouTubers and they want to do the things that they can do, but it's harder to get to that point if you don't have the time to invest. So having a resource that kind of like streamlines that to kind of mitigate that time difference means a lot to a lot of people. And I think that would be a really awesome investment of your time. Yeah. And hopefully revert or results in us seeing more tricksters. I know I like it's so rare for me to see one. And uh, I, I ever since our one v one, I've I, I've been wanting to go against more and more. Um, it's, it's it can actually be a very fun killer to play against. So it's sad there. Uh, I don't see as many. So hopefully that changes soon with these this re revert coming up on the horizon. Yeah, absolutely. Too. I, I never see them in solo queue and I wish I would see more of them, but I just don't. Like, I used to see them all the time, but now it's, like, one every, like, two months. 
Yeah, which is not not a lot. <laughs> not no. a lot at all. I see him less than I see like Singularity, which is quite impressive. Well, friends, we do have another commercial break that we got to cut to here, and we'll be right back. We will have some more words from my lovely trickster main here, so I'll see you after these messages. This episode of Late Night by Daylight is sponsored by the Mount Ormond Ski Resort and Getaway. Looking to start your holiday season a little early? Come to the snowy, picturesque landscape of Mount Ormond. Try out our state-of-the-art ski lift so you can enjoy your winter activities with ease. Need a break from the cold landscape? Enjoy our indoor amenities like our bar and warm fireplace. We hope you choose your next vacation with us at the Winter Wonderland of Mount Ormond Ski Resort and Getaway. Use code late night to get $4.20 off of your drinks. We'll see you there. And we're back. Um, so typically we, uh, we like to focus a little bit on positivity here. Um, what did be one thing that you are thankful for from Dead by Daylight Rev? The game, the community, anything in particular? Oh God. <laughs> 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 this game is huge. <laughs> like guys, this game is huge. <laughs> um, like, oh God, the, the community. I mean, I'll start on that. There's so much to be said about this community like the twitch community in specific is the community that i've been like really really thankful of the in-game community as well like i like if even even though i interact with like i get some really really weird interactions just because i play killer and i play a very very unliked killer um i still appreciate the whole community you know even outside of the streaming community because if those people didn't exist like this game wouldn't exist you know so like all of the passions that we all have, I'm just like really, really happy about because like there's been so many moments that I would never have had if this game didn't exist. Um, uh, th so this, when I first started on the game, uh, it was actually through Twitch because my brother, my brother wanted to show me the game by he was a Myers main and he basically would pop he would pop up this streamer that used to be known as crunchy egg rolls um and with the old matchmaking system he was in rank one so he pulled up the, his stream and was like hey look I can get this guy in like two seconds um and he pops up Q and sure enough he's in his <laughs> lobby as Myers just like and just just like and this wasn't even when the game was like that small like this was like 2018 but the game was not that small back then so it was really weird to see someone pop into the lobby of someone who was like a 2000 viewer streamer um just out of random um but the reason that was is because like a lot of the like higher like intensity players would get to rank one really early but all the other players would kind of like lag behind a little bit which created this like small community of people at the top which means that you knew everybody everybody was friendly with each other everybody had these like interesting interactions where like you knew the person on the other end whether you knew exactly who it was or not you still pretty much knew who it was so a lot of that like rapport and like camaraderie I feel I've been trying to replicate in Dead by Daylight in some degree, and sometimes I'm not successful on it. Like, I get, like, argumentative with people a bit, but at the end of the day, like, I'm trying to create, like, something that I felt when I first started playing this game, which is a sense of community within the game. Like, knowing that if you run into somebody that <laughs> they're not going to bleed you out <laughs> and, like, treat you like garbage, uh, which some people do. <laughs> um... But even apart from the community aspect that I've been trying to like, you know, replicate and I've been successful in some ways, like we've done like community swift stuff. We've done, I don't do it very often because I have a really low social battery, unfortunately, but um, just like running into like fellow streamers, like uh, I, I know a lot of survivor streamers. Like I, I know Tay, Twisted Visuals, like a bunch of other people I'm not gonna go into, but just running into a bunch of friends 
that I know, like, from my communities and seeing them in game and doing some like goofy stuff in their presence without them even realizing it's me is just like it, it it makes me so like excited to like surprise people and like get people like uh you know startled in a way and make you know like not even just from that like even if i'm playing against randoms the goofy stuff you can do in this game really really makes me like love this game you can do some like like orbitals from huntress or like <laughs> Like I played against you a few days ago, Ghost, and I just like threw a knife, and it oh bounced between God. three rooms on Larry's and hit you and that... caused your decay timer. And I was like, "What?" The fuck? Yeah, I still have nightmares about that shot. I I talked about that on stream I think last night. Oh my God, that shot was insane. Oh, I need to look back at the recording because I don't even know what it would have looked like from your side. Because nothing. I I you were nothing. literally three rooms away. No, it, no clear line of sight whatsoever. My decay is maybe three seconds from finally going away and starting to go down. And out of nowhere, I get just smacked on the back of the head with a knife. I just stunned, absolutely stunned. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> the trick blade does some really, really crazy stuff. Most yeah. of the time it just kind of like flies off in the void, but sometimes it does some goofy stuff. But yeah, like from all those moments, and even from the characters I don't play, seeing other people get like their quirky, like high skill thing accomplished within their character, it just brings joy to my face. Like I, like I love seeing people like fixate on their favorite thing and get like some wild stuff to happen. I love time investment being rewarded. Uh, and I feel like that has never really gone from the game. Like, there's been th some things that they've taken out, but at the end of the day, I think that's the core of this game. That was excellent. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <perfect. laughs> it has been really, really insightful, and I'm really happy that they decided to push your character in direction that makes you more happy, more excited, and more creatively inspired. Um, so... If you would like to remind the audience where they can find you again that way you can continue to follow this excellent journey that you're on yeah um i stream on twitch at twitch.tv slash revium um yeah uh i stream like all the time so uh say hi uh don't be shy uh if even if like even if you want to pop by and just lurk please feel free uh i i just love playing this game and i i love interacting with other people and also love playing this game so fantastic yeah we appreciate having you yeah it was great having a guest and and such a good one too right off the bat thank you i i i appreciate it i appreciate being invited so yeah thank you <laughs> of course well friends we will soon cut to see how we did with the entity but make sure we give a short round of applause for revian All right, well, looks like we're reaching the end of our second episode here. I guess it's about time to check in with the entity to see how we performed today. Hopefully we did better than last time because I had a feeling we were on thin ice. Oh, hey, we actually did better this time. Look at that. It's funny what like a little bit of work and actually doing your job and getting a guest will do. It, it is a talk show, and if we need people to talk, we kind of got to get the people to talk to. Novel concept. Yeah, you know, when we got sent to the Entity, I thought it'd be great not having to work anymore for a living, uh, and it, I just have an even more angry, more scary boss. So uh, things don't turn out the way you think they would. I mean, the alternative is running around out there with the rest of the goobers of winning the killers. So theoretically, they're doing all the terrible. legwork. <laughs> We're just kind of vibing. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming out tonight, everybody. Your love and support means a lot because our lives actually kind of depend on it. So, yeah, thank you for supporting us so much. Uh, please save us from getting uh, any sort of trouble with the entity <laughs> because uh, uh, as you've seen through the event, going to the void is kind of a scary place. And I, I, I like my life and my ability to have free thinking, free will, all that wonderful stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else yeah. from us? Levi goes to Anonymous. 
yeah just remember be patient with yourself it's a it, it, sometimes it's a rough game we talked last week about uh remembering there's a person on the other screen but you too are a person on the other screen and sometimes the game doesn't go the way we want and that's okay it's a it's okay um just take a breath and uh try to move on to the next game and if it's not time for the next game maybe a small break till tomorrow is a good idea too Hey, okay, lovely awesome so remember that we are having guests now so if there's any uh, excellent creators you would like to see we will try to reach out to them like we did to revium this week but other than that that's it from us good night everybody be kind out there bye